Ah, the moment of truth. Yeah, we assembled the entire dome without any real issues. Uh, it was uh, pretty smooth, pretty enjoyable. A few frustrating moments. Um, but it goes together really, really good. And you know, one of the concerns I had when I was making the dome and cutting the pieces and cutting the angles and cutting the sizes of the tubes, those ABS tubing joints are extremely forgiving. Um, they'll forgive, you know, a few millimeters on a wood or an angle that might not just be right. If you remember in the beginning of the video, I actually cut all of my angles at 60 degrees. And then, of course, the Pentagon ABS joints, there's only five of them. I cut those at, I can't remember, 55 or 85 degrees. I can't remember what they were. But every single angle was pretty much the same except for the six points where there's pentagons. Um, there was a few places where we had to hang basically off of the uh, two by fours as we were bringing them together in order to bring the two by fours to the joints and get them to actually fit. Um, I'm guessing that that was squaring everything off, seeing as we didn't really square off our foundation very well. We basically used the structure to come together given uh, the faith that all of the 2x4s were the right lengths and that as we constructed it, it would pull everything together and actually create that correct circumference, the geometric shape, sustaining the entire structure and making it strong, which it is. I, uh, when we finished the very top there is the pentagon on the top. I grabbed on it and hung on it and hung like a monkey. So I've got my big erector set or monkey bars <laughs> all set. It's very strong. It's nice and uh, I'm really happy. And on to the next part. What I'm going to do is um, I'm going to run around and compact the foundation with uh, a, a mallet and might drive in a few stakes uh, just to anchor it down. This originally was going to be a temporary structure for us. We're going to build a larger greenhouse. But it's coming together so nice. Um, all the neighbors really like it. We really like it. I think we're going to actually make it a permanent fixture and definitely put the polycarbonate sheets on there and um, go full blown with a a mini uh, greenhouse for now for what we uh, plan to do so really enjoyable really happy I love the build the size is really really nice um, another issue I have was polycarbonate sheets I did look into it and if you're gonna build I knew this ahead of time but I wanted to go with a little bit larger of a dome when you're calculating the costs of those polycarbonate sheets if you're not going to get a custom dimension, which is anything above 48 inches in the width, length you can get up to 10 to 12 feet, pretty standard. But 48 inches on a width is pretty much the highest standard a lot of these guys will go to with the twin walled polycarbonate sheets. Now, the one that I did here actually has 56 inches to some of the triangles, so those won't work. I have to get custom fitted sheets or devise some kind of a pattern that'll fill in that little gap with maybe a piece of wood or some kind of a stained glass or a glass fixture or anything else that fills that in there and isn't going to charge me a lot of money in order to have these custom fit polycarbonate sheets. I thought of that ahead of time and I thought what the hell I, I really don't care if I spend a little more money but in the end when I actually did some price and it was anywhere from $3,500 to $6,000 which is a lot of money just to put some polycarbonate sheets on those. I don't want to spend that much money on it. Um, so that's a word of advice and when you build make sure your longest 2x4 isn't going to be larger than say 46 inches to give you some you know spacing on the ABS joint or whatever type of joint you you're actually going to make on yours. But uh, yeah, man, it's a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to finishing it out. I'm going to put some windows on here. I'm going to put a um, an automatic window on the top that's going to open and close based on a, a spring that's uh, heat activated. Basically, it goes up and down as the heat rises. That'll let out the heat on the top. I'm going to put a door in, frame all that in, and I'll, uh, I'll probably make a video on that just to show you what it looks like in the end. And I think this season we're going to put on um, 6 mil plastic, the 6 mm plastic is a little thick and I believe it only lets through roughly 80% of the light which we really don't like given we're in a very high northern altitude area uh, or latitude area it it's 
we need the most amount of sunlight coming through that plastic as possible. Now, we could have went with 4 mm, 4 mil uh, plastic, but I talked to the neighbor and he said that it only lasts about four to five months. That's the trade off. So, if you're going to go with a 4 mil plastic, um, it'll allow, I think, 92% of the sunlight through it, depending on the type of plastic you buy which is nice, but given our northern climate, it's going to uh, fail pretty quick, probably six months at the most. Whereas another neighbor has the six mil plastic. He said that it'll go at least three, four years, as long as you knock the snow off, if you get a couple feet of snow, which is pretty good for us. But he said the trade-off is you're not getting enough sunlight through on some of the plants. So I'm gonna play with that, we'll see how it goes. Like I say, we're gonna put up the plastic just for the season. I'm gonna order my polycarbonate and figure that out and go from there. But uh, yeah, enjoy. Happy building and uh, maybe we'll see you in some more videos.